will not get you any of this thing. What being a teacher gets you is much more important. Being a teacher gives you the knowledge that you touched a child's life and hopefully made that child's life better while they were in your care. Bridesburg has had many and has many great teachers that care deeply for the children that attend our school. We work together as a family to help the children in our care. This year, a beloved member of the Bridesburg staff has decided that it is time for her to get some well-deserved rest and begin a new adventure. Ms. Falco has been a staple at Bridesburg for 32 years. Wow. Woo! She has been a teacher in the school district for 37 years. Wow. She has worked with many families, teaching children, and often going on to teach the children of those children. Mm -hmm. She has fought for children as a teacher and then as a special ed. On behalf of the eighth grade, we would like to thank you for coming out to special to celebrate this special event with us. As we leave our childhood behind and enter our teenage years, we mark the start of new beginnings. Some of us have been together since before we could count to ten. Now we're here about to enter high school. Over these past years, our teachers have inspired us to dream bigger and to never give up. Many teachers have pushed us to the limit to help us discover our own capability and talents. Mr. McCow once told us that there was always work to be done which prepared us for the work ahead of us. Now we will separate and leave each other behind, but we all face the same journey ahead. Even though we are going our separate ways, we will always have the great memories of Bridesburg. We wouldn't be where we are without the support of our families. We would like to thank our families for your constant encouragement and continuous care. We'd like to thank you for ironing our uniforms, packing our lunches, attending school meetings, helping with our homework, and running to the store the last minute to pick up supplies that we forgot was due the next day. This journey was like a roller coaster, so many twists and turns, and wouldn't have survived it without the help of our parents. Remember, we have only just begun the journey. We still have lots of thrills and twists and turns ahead of us. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Thank you. Woo! We spent a year and a half together riding buses back and forth from St. Bernard's during that time. During all those challenges, you remained optimistic, excited, motivated, and you came to school ready to learn. The best part about graduation is that amongst all the chaos, the excitement, and the tears of joy, it's time to look back and take a moment to breathe. It's time to think about the experiences you have had, the obstacles that you have overcome and faced, and the choices that you have made, and how these influences are going to affect your future. Are you going to make, are they going to make you stronger? Are they going to make you happier? Are you going to make, are they going to make you more dedicated? Those are questions that you will have to answer for yourself, students. When I first became a teacher 36 years ago, my goal was to impact students' lives and help them to become the best version of themselves that they can be. The truth is, students, my success as a principal and as an educator lies in your hands. My success depends on your success as human beings, and the success that you have depends on the changes that you make and the opportunities that you take advantage of. The difference between making it or failure. We would like to acknowledge a Bridesburg student who excels in the area of mathematics. This year's award for excellence in mathematics is awarded to Daniel Luther. You know, at the end of the year, we've seen all of these students through the best of times and sometimes not so much the best of times. But after all the events that we've had leading up to this time, I'm always smiling and it rejuvenates me. It reminds me of why I'm in this profession. I truly adore your children. They're, they're wonderful and they're on to great things. Every last one of your children are talented and I'm sure are going to do remarkable things. It is with pleasure that I am giving the award for citizenship. Citizenship and personal growth goals are traits to be admired. A citizenship award has been established to recognize two students who have provided service to the school community and who have set and obtained personal growth goals. This year's recipient are very near and dear to my heart because they have grown leaps and bounds and are truly deserving. 
So I will, it's my honor to recognize Douglas and Michael Biber. So my speaker award I'm um, giving today is for literacy. Um, this year's literacy award has been established. It's being awarded to two students who have an overall love of literacy and learning in general. These two kids have worked so hard this year and have just uh, grown by leaps and bounds, and I'm very proud of them. This year's award um, recipients are Jessica Munns and Tom Bird. I'm proud to present these awards, and every year uh, I'm selected to choose two students for a principal's award. And let me just tell you how my criteria for principal's award. I, and I, I, again, I know these students, these two particular students have been at our school since I came there. And uh, one of the things that we do every day, we talk about at our school, are being respectful, being responsible, coming to school ready to learn. And those are so important. The other thing is, I always tell students, and I believe this in my life, is that you treat other people the way you want to be treated, with kindness and respect. And these two students, every day that I see the smile on their face, them coming to school, and the way that they treat other people, I can't be more than proud that a father would be of their children. Uh, these two students are just exceptional, phenomenal children. I, I think that their parents should be delighted and so proud. Uh, we're proud of all of them. But these two students in particular really touched my heart, and I really wanted to recognize them. And again, this is not an academic award. This is a, an award for students who just epitomizes respect and responsibility, and I know that they're going to be a loved and wonderful person throughout their whole life. So I want to recognize two students, Shane Farinas. Woo!
Michael Lohr. Jessica Moss. Christina Schmidt. Christian Smith. Congratulations for these actors. Riley Orko. Braylon Checo. Take a pause so someone can take a picture of you guys. Tyler Chen. Jeffrey Playdeck. 